Hello, my friends, and welcome back to our continuing blind let's play Master Detective Archives Rain Code from the Nintendo Switch. My name is Father Spur, this is Toby's Gaming Channel, and today we're gonna continue on our trek here by examining crime scene number 213 to try to figure out who the elusive nail man is. So, with that said, let's go ahead and jump right into it, shall we? Hope you're all having a wonderful, fantastic day today. Hey. You decide what you saw first. I'll follow your lead. Not bad at all. So, which slack room do you want to solve next? Hurry up and decide, Master. I'm gonna go for two. Left is always right. We went to one. Now we're going to two. The second locked room mystery occurred three months ago in that mansion. The corpse was inside the study, and the room's key was found underneath the corpse. If you think you're up for it, then let's solve this thing. Let's do it. Are you going to the second locked room? God, that never not gets creepy. Yes. So we know it has to be a thin staff member of the church based on the first few rooms, which means it's either the preacher or it's the nun. There are dolls nailed across the room. The victim is nailed down in the same manner. But I have theorized that it may be possible there's more than one. Or if there is more than one, it may not be an accomplice, it may be a copycat. So we could have one killer, an accomplice, or a copycat killer. And I'm not really sure which one's which. I'm I'm leaning towards there only being one killer because it's so early in the game. And uh what do we see? And the culprit was also missing from this room? It shares common traits with the other mailman killings. And we're trapped again. Looks like you gotta solve the mystery of this locked room or we're not leaving. I'll try. Ah! Where did the culprit flee from? The door was locked when the corpse was found. And the only key was underneath the body. There are no windows that could have been used to escape. And the vent is too small to fit through. So how did the culprit escape from here? Where did the culprit flee from? That's pretty with the moon. The fish tank? No. Here? So I still think they unlocked the door by using this. They may have used a string to come down here to unlock the door. Oh. Oh. Uh -huh. It's too small for someone to pass through here. Yes. And it looks like the bars are screwed shut from the inside, so they can't be removed. You can't escape through there. Or they just walked out the front door. Here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so they use the vent to escape. That's what I was trying to say. I was trying to say they use the vent to escape through the door, and I just... I, I should realize I need to click on the door. To leave the room, the culprit had to have taken this door to the hallway. Huh? There's nothing special about that. That's what makes it special, though. But there's no other possibility. There isn't another entrance or exit. But the door itself was locked and the key was found under the corpse, right? After locking it from outside in the hallway, how did the culprit enter the room and put the key under the corpse? Try it. Everything must be verified. It, sure. After committing the crime, the culprit went out to the hallway with the key in hand. They then locked the door. Assuming that's the only way to create this locked room, the problem is... What are you going to do with that key in your hand, Master? All the dots. Don't tell me you still have no idea. Oh, hold on, let me think this over. We should go back inside for now. Huh? 
Huh? Looks like we're locked out. Oh, what's this happening? You better hurry or you'll fall into the abyss! What do I do? Calm down. You just need to solve the mystery. Doing that will open the path. You can do it, can't you? Um, maybe? Yes, I'll try. Um, we have to put the key back in the locked room, right? In that case... Run away, thrown in, taken home. Uh, I was thrown in. Why? That is to the left. That's right. The key could be slid through the gap in the vent cover above the door. And if they managed to throw the key right under the corpse from here. A ting. It stopped. But nothing happened. The door is still closed. If it was wrong, a trap would have activated. So we're on the right track about the key being thrown in. But there's more to it than that. If you simply threw it in, it'd be impossible to position it under the corpse. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. That is a little bit of a, um... Hmm. I see. So this is the vital clue for this locked room. I'm beginning to understand what happened here. Alara, oh, have you already solved the trick to this locked room? You haven't? Hey, quit playing hard to get and tell us. Or just <laughs> put the whispered in my ear. If you want information from me, you'll have to pay a fitting price in Xi'an. Oh, God, not again. Of course, I don't work for cheap. You really are a devil, trying to take money from a death god, huh? The key was definitely tossed inside, but that doesn't explain how it got under the corpse. So, how did the culprit pull off that trick after tossing the key in? Maybe the corpse was moved? That would explain how it was on top of the key. But... How do you move a body from outside a locked room? Hmm. Aww, the way's completely blocked off. Oh, it's almost like those sliding tile games. But the only things here that can block our progress are mysteries, right? I hope not because I'm kind of not good with those. That's true. So we just need to solve the mystery. At least give me a heads up first. <laughs> it says, how was the corpse moved? I've been trying to figure it out for a while, but... Evidence was left at the scene. Really? Huh? If you look at the evidence, you'll understand what tool the culprit used to pull this off. So look at the evidence to understand the tool? Tool? That's all the advice I'll provide. You must figure out the rest yourself if you wish to be a true detective. Evidence? Um... So this is the second case. Not the clock tower. It's not that one. It's not the club. It's a mansion. I like how they're all labeled. Uh, blood stains on the corpse. The nails in the upper body did not completely penetrate the body. The victim next had signs string with the rope and wounds likely caused by resisting. In addition, there were thinner rope marks only visible on the back of the neck. So did someone tie, but wouldn't you find like the, the rope that was tied though, if you did it like that? There's evidence that a string or something similar scraped against a gap in it. But again, once you find the string, 
Looks like a string rubbed through the inner corners of the eyes. So obviously a string was used, right? The door was still locked. The mask was found inside the study. The key was under the body. Uh, got it. Got it? You just want the mystery solved for you, huh? I can tell because I'm your mentor. So I'll help you out. Are you ready? You better be. Are you gonna get in barrel? Huh? Ready for what? Lay it all out, master. Yep. Saw the barrel coming. So this is gonna be a string, right? Kobe used a string, yeah. String. S. Yes. These are spinning a lot faster than I remember. T. R. I. N. Perfect. All right. That was one of the easier ones we've done yet. Kind of helped that I re looked over the evidence like I'm supposed to, and that you know got me to the solution I needed. But again, once they find evidence of the string, though, that's right. There was evidence of a thin string being used at the scene of the crime. A sturdy and thin string like a fishing line must have been used to move the body. You may think a tiny string could move a whole corpse. Uh oh. There he is again! That rude and gloomy guy! That deduction is wrong. You're wrong? What could be wrong about it? Master sounded really confident just now. Yeah, I did. Listen. The nails in that corpse's leg pierced through his body and into the floor, which means the corpse was fixed in place. Not true. So how could the corpse be moved? We know that the nails in the upper body weren't uh, implanted in the floor, right? Oh, true. If the corpse was stuck in place, it'd be impossible to move it. We just read that. Indeed, it would be impossible. Laura, you think so too? So I was wrong the whole time? No, no, I'm not wrong. <laughs> huh? The door! The truth is slipping further away! Okay, it's not a death of match. Of course it is. Because your deduction is wrong. I'm not wrong. You're just trying to hide the truth. <laughs> You people will never reach the truth. This is the end. Master, let's take him down first. Let's do it, Shingami. Yeah. Let's see if I've gotten better at this. Oh, this is a reason to the match. I thought it was one where you gotta jump um through. Okay, uh doll with the eyes gouged out, blood stains on corpse. Uh torn in different directions. Th th these weren't the keys I was expecting. Your deduction is wrong. Do you have any proof that the corpse was moved? The corpse was fixed in place. Corpse was fixed in place. You didn't move the millimeter. In fact, that corpse shows no sign it was ever moved. 
Shows no sign was ever moved. Can we attack that statement? That's an indisputable fact. Right. Just like I said, when you view the body through post combination, right. the body was taken place. What would it to create a locked room would have been necessary right. to the body? In that case, there might be evidence left behind of something being moved. Okay, so the body was moved because the Your blood was in different directions. Wrong. It's the only way to explain why the, the blood is in different directions. Do you have any proof that the corpse was moved? The corpse was fixed in place. Well, let's leave that one alone for now. It didn't move a millimeter. In fact, that corpse shows no sign it was Should I jump? This one here. Heck. Ah, I couldn't hit it! Fact. No, I didn't mean to do that! Ah, oh, I totally I screwed that one up. Hold on, hold on. I know what I'm doing. I just... I, I think I tried to attack too early, and the thing wasn't... Proof that the corpse was moved? The corpse was fixed in place. I, I think I just attacked too early. It didn't move a millimeter. In fact, that corpse shows no sign it was ever. Okay, I need to wait for it to get to me. You see, it's kind of like. Do you see that though? The way it comes at you, it, it's it, it swivels towards you. So that was super deceptive. I like it. Super deceptive though. The body had been moved. The upper and lower parts of the body bled out differently. The blood from the lower body flowed naturally outwards along the body's outline. But blood from the upper body looks like it flowed in a downward direction, toward his hips. If the corpse was motionless on its back, there wouldn't be such unusual blood stains. Mm -hmm. In other words, it's safe to assume the body's position was different from when it was discovered. Not where I thought of this was going, but at the same time, it is correct. What? What's this? There's three of them now. Great. Like one wasn't bad enough. We gotta hurry and get through that door. I agreed. Unusual circumstances. It doesn't matter. Uh, agreed. Quickly. As long as the corpse was pinned to the floor, it couldn't be moved. But it wasn't fully pinned. You can't change the truth. Even this didn't work? Am I just wrong about it all? No, you're correct. The answer you've reached using the evidence is the truth. Laura! There's no doubt a fine string was used in this case. Evidence at the crime scene indicate the corpse was moved. So all that remains is to answer, how was the pin body moved? That bizarre bloodstain holds the clue to all of this. The bloodstain? If the blood stain is the clue for how the body could be moved, even while pinned... Master, we gotta chase after the door! It's getting further away! Yeah, it's bad. The thing! <laughs> I won't let you! What was this was supposed to be before it was moved? Um... Before it was moved, uh, before it was moved, uh, was upper body sitting up. That's right. The corpse was sitting up at first. That's why only the wounds in the upper half of the body bled straight down. Okay. Doing well so far. What was used to sit the body upright? Um, a third string, a wall, a cardboard box. Uh, the box. Nope, it wasn't a box. Ah! I was thinking that maybe you could pull the box away. So what, the wall? I mean, the wall seems like the only thing that would make sense, right? 
A thin string. A thin string can't... Oh, but what if you're pulling on it? Huzzah! The string I mentioned before was thin but sturdy. It was all over the room, holding the body's upper half in place. That's the reason only the corpse's neck had marks on this it. This is this is very intricate. Seems like the most intricate of all of them. Why was the corpse lying on its back at the time of discovery? It was the moment we discovered the string was retrieved. The string was cut. It was cut. No, I was retrieved. Okay, it had to be one of the two, but if it was cut, then there would be evidence of the string still there. And that's what I was getting wrong. It was retreat. That's why there was no evidence of the string. The culprit then retrieved all the string that kept the corpse in place from outside the door. And with nothing to support it, the top half of the corpse fell back to the floor, just like how it was discovered. Ooh. It appears this locked room mystery will finally be solved. That is super intricate. supposed to recreate the locked room in the same way the culprit did oh dear lord Master, you know the answer right let's finish this right oh my god i was hoping they would just show me how it was done you gotta think like the culprit master oh my god uh think about how the culprit created locked room follow the same steps to complete oh, the place is suspicious inspect items on this sequence of events some items weren't using the crime so yeah. you have to recreate the culprit's locked room mystery you gotta recreate the corporate's presence to create a locker mystery. Okay, so we know. Do we start with the corpse or do we end with the corpse? Let's say we start with the corpse. Maybe you got the order wrong. First, you need to tie the fishing line down. Find a sturdy spot where it can be easily retrieved later. Uh, a sturdy spot, like the uh, vent? First, a knot was tied through a slit in the vent. Like I said, it's either gotta be the vent on the body, depending on the order that the game wants you to do. After that, the fishing line was drawn away to another location. In terms of sequence, it'd probably be easier to start with things that are fixed in place. Mm -hmm. The body then is last. So we know that I went through the doll. We know it went through the doll. Uh, I think it went through the desk light. Question is, did it go through the desk light first or the doll first? There's a good chance that the doll was holding the body up. So the doll may be last. <laughs> You're still a long ways off from completing this locked room. Does this location matter? You're supposed to be searching, Master. You said you were for something that's fixed in place. Why don't you search for that? That was not it. Fixed in place. Um. Fixed in place. This trick starts with the fishing line passing through the vent. What comes next? Well, I guess the doll would have to connect. That's it. It passed through a doll's eye. So I thought this would be like the fourth thing. I seem to be doing this completely in the wrong order. And then the fishing line passed through the eye to somewhere else. Yeah, I'm like completely doing this out of order. The painting? No, there's no need for the line to go there. Uh, you proved that yourself already. The line is what propped the upper part of the body up. Darn it! So, the light? No. There's no need for you prove. It's not the body next, is it? Right. The really? Was then passed around a certain point on the corpse. That was. Uh, the neck. Here, behind the neck, the line ends here to support it. 
now, it's clear that the line passed through the vent, the doll's eye, and ended beneath the neck. Hang on. Why pull a line through the doll first? Can't you just start by pulling it from under the body? To support the body's weight, the line needs to pass through the doll first, as it was fixed in place. Next, the fishing line. Okay, so we need something that will, I guess, pick up the body. Can't be the vent again, can it? I mean, you need something that will, like, pick up the body. The line passed through the vent and doll to the corpse in that order. Correct so far. Keep going. Like, I feel like you need something to pick up the body. So you need something strong. It, it can't be the vent again, can it? I doubt it's a doll. I don't think it's a corpse. I don't think it's a light. There are three points with signs of wear from the line. Think it over one more time. Three points. Three points. I can't view my evidence. Yeah, it's not letting me view my evidence. Three points. Uh, the three points are already active. Now, to return the line to the vent. Okay, it does go back this to the kept vent. the corpse's upper torso in place. The room has been completely prepared. So next... The door? The culprit exited through the door and locked it with the key. And then... Ah, uh, the vent cap. The key was thrown through the gap in the vent. This is devious as can be. If the culprit managed to drop the key next to the corpse, the only thing left was to untie the line. Then... You would need, like, to be a perfect shot to throw the key like that, though. The corpse, which was supported only by the line, would fall face up on top of the key. That's how the culprit created the locked room. Hooray! You did it! That's my master! Lock room complete. Although we don't know exactly who did it yet. That was insane. That is nuts. The blood stains were strange. The length of the nails driven into the upper and lower body were different. The nails on the upper half didn't penetrate all the way through the body. But the nails on the lower half went all the way through and into the floor. That was how the lower half could be secured, while the upper half could still be moved around. That sure was tricky, but you managed to solve the mystery behind it. And because of that, what is our reward? Our eternal reward. <laughs> <laughs> I got a lot of flashing through my head. That The mansion study was quite an elaborate locker room. Except. Yeah, but what we know so far is enough to pinpoint the culprit is. Come down, only part way through the labyrinth. Even if we saw it right there last second, it's still solved. Hey! Now, what's the next solution key? Master, come on down and solve the mansion lock room. Next up to win big, it's Hella! Same of the day, it's new me! What are you even imitating? We are the first three contestants on the site this right! Yaha! <laughs> Alright, moving on. Oh. Ugh. Looks like we finally made it to the treasure chest! Alright, kick it open. Speaking of, don't you think that whoever worked the hardest should get to open it? Yes, kick it open already. We know what you're gonna do it anyway. Which is me, of course. <laughs> uh, fishing line locked room. A fishing line was used in the locked room's mystery of the mansion study. This is probably another clue leading to the culprit. I'm not sure how we use it. Still, it must be used for something. Hold on. Hold on to it. Yep, I will. Let's solve the rest. Right. 
All right, something I should sure mention, and it's something I forgot to do. I said, why don't you check your abilities? And I didn't check my abilities, even though I level, because it takes quite a few points to unlock something. But I have four points, so Entra, you're right. I should have done this sooner. Um, maybe it gives me an idea of what I want to do. Uh, slowing down the speed is maybe okay, because it does be really, really fast. Although, going really fast is a good thing sometimes, because it lets me get to letters faster. Um, t -t 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 I, I don't really know what the standby me is. This ability becomes even faster. Showing the assist ability recovery time. Oh, I totally forgot about that. I totally forgot I had that ability. Oh, oops. Um. <laughs> uh. Remove one incorrect solution key. This is probably the most powerful thing. I want to equip it. Okay. Cool. Thank you, Entra. Hey. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, number three, it's the only one left. That is gruesome as can be. The third locked room was a murder that happened one month ago in the art gallery storage in Ginma district. Pictures and paint were scattered all around the spot where a woman was boom killed. If you think you're up for it, then let's solve this thing. Are you going to the third locked room? Yes. Last one to do. Let's do it. Uh, did we get stuck inside a locked room again? This was the corpse that was discovered by that worshiper and the art gallery employee. At the time of discovery, the door was locked and the key was nailed to a doll inside the room. Aside from the door, the only other entrance is the window, but it opens just enough to fit a finger in. The frame itself is too small for even a child to squeeze through. How did the culprit vanish from here? Oh boy, do we save the, uh, the most complicated for last? How do we get out? Spot selection. Where did the culprit flee from? Did they flee from there? Or did they go out the door? Well, there's really only two options, right? It's not there. It's too small for a person to pass through. Here. It's a door again. I think the culprit could have only escaped from here, but... Hmm. Hmm. Nothing's happening. Maybe you made a mistake, Master. No, that can't be right. It's impossible for anyone to squeeze through that window. They could have only gotten out through the door. I'm sure the culprit had the key and locked the door from the outside after committing the crime. The culprit just used a copy of the key? Would that really be considered a locked room mystery? Well, there are only two keys to the storage space, and the design makes them impossible to duplicate. Okay. I learned that thanks to you, Halara. But how does that help? One of the keys is always carried by that one employee. It was used when the body was first discovered, right? And the only other key was nailed through a doll onto a painting. And it can't be duplicated. So, it is a locked room mystery! Right? Right? Oh, that's totally it. Unless the guy who had the key did it. I see. I suppose you could call it that. Hey, Yuma, can you go check outside of that window? Oh, just like before. Before? 
Yeah, you made me do the same thing in the real world when we were investigating this place. I see. Then the answer has already been confirmed. Very well. Huh? Wait, did you already solve this mystery? Sorry. You haven't? Um... How about you go and check outside the window? Then even you will see. Okay. Oh, it unlocked. Looks like you can go outside. All right, let's go see. Let's do it. Come on. What are you going to find outside the window? If Alara knows the answer, then why not just tell us? Well. I'm supposed to be the one solving the mysteries. Besides, getting the answer from Alara will cost a lot of money. Zero money, zero prize, zero money. Poor triple master. Oh, come on. That was weird. Hey, didn't you already check this in the real world? Yeah, we did. I do it again. Alara told me to check it twice. There must be an important clue outside that window. Hey, maybe the culprit threw the key in through the window. That way, the key would be found inside. Well, how about that theory? That would be just like the previous room. Is this the storage key? Which means... Ah! Cause look over why I'm the key. This one's a freebie! I was right! Just toss it in there, master! The culprits threw the key inside? Is that really the right answer? Did the culprit throw the key in from the window? Starting to doubt if they did or not. This is the answer. Oh, it's still coming down. Yeah, I said I was starting to doubt if that was the answer. It seemed too easy. And the last thing, and I was like, screw it, I'm just gonna do it. And of course, it's a trap. This game is a troll sometimes. I mean, there is no no option. That's the thing. I almost hesitated to the right answer. Almost, almost. If I would have just waited a second longer. Right answer? How didn't the culprit throw the key in there? That's why the key was found inside, right? Like, if I would have just waited a second longer. No, the crime scene wouldn't end up like that if we threw it in. The key was nailed to a painting. That's not possible if you just throw it into the room. Oh, right. But if the culprit didn't throw it in there, how is the key left in the room? That's a good question. Also, I want to want to take a look at that again. The key was nailed to a painting. Yeah, that's true. That's why it couldn't happen. Ah, maybe I knew that in some parts of my brain. That's why I was hesitating. Hmm. If you can't nail the key after throwing it. <laughs> Uh oh. Ah! <laughs> You're back. The key vanished. The key is in my hand. Master! You got the doll and nail! I see. So you're supposed to recreate the locked room in All right, the here we go again. the culprit did. Try it out. Doing so will create a new path. Feel like I'm becoming a criminal here. Yeah, I'm gonna solve this. Good luck, master. I'm trying. You have to recreate the culprit's locked room mystery. First, do something about that doll. Okay. So doll would be Where was the doll found originally? Found here? 
There are a few things you have to do. But first, you need to set the conditions to create the lock room. Wasn't the doll you just obtained used somewhere? Yeah, I just forgot where it was though. That's a problem. And there's there's like no clues on. Use everything you know and read all that's left is to follow the steps. And there's no clues on where it was and I can't look at my evidence. Just recreate when you follow the steps the culprit took to create the lock. So I don't remember where the uh, thing was placed. All right. First, take the painting. Or do I? Uh, pop the painting up against the wall next to the window. Nail the key to the painting. Nail the doll to the painting. The culprit nailed the doll onto the painting. I kind of remember both this. Were stood up at a certain location. It was leaned up against um here. Why are you standing it up there? You need to do. Should have known better. Should have known. The painting was stood up facing the window. Now the part with the pierced doll is right next to the window. After that. After that. I keep going back to the steel ladder. I keep getting wrong. I should stop going back to the steel ladder. The door? Then the culprit went outside. The door was locked, and they went to the other side of the storage room. Okay. I can see the painting and doll through the window, but I can barely fit my hand through the gap. The doll's got a nail in it, but the problem is that key in your hand, Master. Yeah, the culprit took the key and then... Uh, nailed to the painting with the doll. Hung on a nail, stuck in the doll. No, think about the state the corpse was in at the time of discovery. The key wasn't just hanging on it. Right, it was nailed in. I'm such an idiot. They, they literally just said it was nailed in. The culprit nailed the key to the painting along with the doll from outside the window. Finally. You pushed it. Uh, knocked the painting toward the room. I pushed the painting into the room. It completes the locked room mystery. This is how the culprit did it. Not as intricate as the last one, but still pretty intricate. And we noticed both uh, case number two and three involved um, involved manipulation. Well, involved exiting through a door. Where well, the other two didn't involve exiting through a door. I wonder it if that's gonna be a time, point. But you've reached the truth behind this. Oh room. shush! I'm doing my best. Okay, give me a Throwing break. the key through the window would be obvious. So to mislead us into thinking that was impossible, the key was nailed to a painting, which was then pushed over. It's one thing for an amateur, but a detective wouldn't be tricked by this. Seriously, only amateurs would get fooled by... Wait, you mean me? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go get our key for this. And this will be all four done. Hey, a treasure chest! Oh, who's gonna open this one? We should let the meanest one of us open it. How would you decide that? Like this! <laughs> Let's check out this treasure. She's not wrong. <laughs> What's wrong? It's empty. Wait, how's it empty? Huh? Why? After all we went through to solve this locked room. This must mean solving the third locked room mystery doesn't necessarily bring us any closer to the ultimate truth. That's terrible. I suddenly feel so tired. Well, that's a little bit annoying. We can't call it quits. We gotta keep going. That's 
it for all the locked rooms. We make a pretty good team. Don't you think so? Uh, yeah, sure. I think so. <sighs> well, what do we do from here? That's a good question. Something's opened up. The way forward is clear. It must be due to solving all of the locked room mysteries. Now let's go. Right. Again, I gotta ask, who's supposed to be the protagonist here? <laughs> we all know you're the protagonist, Shingami. Mean, I should probably talk to them first. I see. The, the way forward is clear. It must be due to solving all of the locked room mysteries. Now let's go. That's it for all the locked rooms. We make a pretty good team. Don't you think so? Yeah, but why are the dolls like dancing in the air? That's very disturbing. We didn't get any other clues there though. Mandy trying to conceal the facts of a case born from cute mystery fantasy. This place is creepy. Don't be afraid to roll the dice. You must keep pursuing the truth. Emotions must be discarded to reach a perfect solution through a perfect deduction. Isn't that right? Yes. Some of these quarters just go on a bit too long, I will say. But you kind of do get to feel like you're in a mystery labyrinth with them now. So they do have a purpose. What is this? We had to choose a. Oh, we're gonna have to choose who did it. But we don't have enough evidence. Is this some dungeon? What is the meaning of this? Let me out of here. Let me out! I'll kill your ass in the name of God! I. I have nothing to do with the case. I'm not the culprit! Let me go! Wow, they're all here! So now we must pick out the true culprit of this case. The true culprit? Yuma, you solved all the locked room mysteries before you made it here. You should have all the clues and evidence you need to accuse the culprit. I, 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 uh, uh. To be honest, when I first met you, I thought you were rather pitiful. <laughs> you sure are honest. But my opinion of you has improved. These mysteries have brought you closer to becoming a true detective. Now tie up all the loose ends and prove that I am not mistaken about you. With your logic, Anything is possible. All right, I'll try. Ooh, somebody's guilty. My heart's pounding. Who's the culprit? Figure it out and hit him with the dramatic finger point. Make the right choice, you'll reveal a new truth. That's the thing, I only, it's down between two of them. It's either the nun or the preacher. But which Are one is it most likely? Man? I'm not the culprit. I, uh, I'm not the nail man. How can I be the nail man? I, I, See, it's either I'm him or her. Nail man. Now she does have a uh, broken arm, which makes her suspicious. But the fact that she has a broken arm means she probably couldn't have done the last crime if she had a broken arm. I mean, she did have a rope ladder. A rope ladder would be easier to climb down. Not the culprit. I'm not the nail man. What does I, my gut tell me? I'm not the culprit. Uh, my gut tells me the, the fact that she has man. a broken arm is suspicious, I'm and she's on the left side. The nail man. And left side is always right. me kill your ass I don't think that was right considering all the evidence gathered so far 
Only one person can be the nail man. I don't think that was right. Not the nail man. I'm not the culprit. So it was the priest. Like I said, it was either down between the nan and the priest. Is you, father. And I thought because of the broken arm, I guess the broken arm was just a red herring to throw you off, and it threw me off. What? That's an absolutely I, I did say earlier though. Great, he's here. I did say earlier though that the fact that he was worshipping the nail man so well was very suspicious. I should have gone with that instinct. Ridiculous thing to say. Should have gone with that instinct. Him again? Why won't he just give up? You're saying the priest, a man of the cloth, is the culprit. That's impossible. How dare you spew such nonsense? Why is it impossible, though? Right! Do not make baseless accusations. The culprit has to be someone else. Yuma? Can I leave this to you? Sure. It's not a baseless accusation. You're the only one who could possibly be the culprit. Master, you're acting like a real detective. Go on and boom kill him. And by the way, he was like second to the left, so you know. <laughs> Whoa. He just went super say uh Jin. <laughs> Person with access to incinerator. I'm a man of the cloth. Oops. Why do that? Okay, I only have one thing. Person with access to incinerator. Okay, that doesn't mean anything there. Whoa! Whoa! He's got multiple now. Pretty jump. The first one to discover the body. The mailman is the worshiper. So the Nehman isn't the worshiper, it's the priest, right? Yeah. Yeah, there's no doubt. We just have to find a way to prove it. I'm a man of the cloth. Which one? Person with access. Maybe that was the person with access. I was trying to use it. I was trying to use it because I'm pretty sure it is that because the worshiper doesn't have access. I just couldn't get to it in time. I was going by a little bit too quick. So these things fly at you at rapid speed. I am not the male. That's it! The first one to discover the body. The mailman is the worshiper. Right here. This is the truth. He can't be the worshiper. He didn't have access. And it can't be the big guy because he doesn't fit in the vent. I just don't understand why it can't be the nun. The rope ladder used in the clock tower's locked room was found in the incinerator, which only clergy can access. The worshiper may be a regular churchgoer, but he's no clergy member. So he's no longer a suspect. Shut up! Shut up! Ridiculous! Thin person. This is the vent one. A member of the church is the culprit? Even so, I am not the culprit. There are others working for the church. Yes, there's the servant. The servant must be the nailman. The servant was able to commit the crimes. Right there. To 
is that one. He pretended to discover a rope ladder. It's the second one. Right. There are other steps besides Priest, though. It looks like he has plans to attack the Zertex file now. But the story is a nail man. It was a possible to commit one of the crimes. Now focus on putting that next. Let's take another look at the solution case and think it through. A member of the church is the I, I, it, the, the, the broken arm has to be important, I think. On why she couldn't do it. There are others working for the church. Yes, there's the servant. The servant must be the nail man. The servant was able to commit the crimes. Well, like I said, we know those two. It's the third one that I'm, uh, I'm not fully understanding. Climbing up to the underground casino's window with only nails for footing would require considerable agility. Judging by the size of the window, there's no way someone of his size could have committed the crime. No, no, no! Yes, yes, yes. Okay, now for the nun. Fishing line locked room. Only someone with use of full arms could have fashioned the room. She had a book. I told you the book and arm was important. Um, but it was for important for the wrong reason. I, if I would have... How did I not see this? Like, I read this. I should have known that. I should have known that. Should have known that. It's that one. It's not like she's afraid of heights. Okay, so that has nothing to do with she her. The nails to climb. And you know she's always saying, I'll kill your ass in the name of God. She is always saying that. I, I think it's, it's the third one. She's the ruthless soul. Because she couldn't have used her, na her, her arms to climb. The nail man has to be a member of the clergy and thin. If that's all, doesn't that else fit the bill? She's not the nail man, though. I can prove it. Yeah, okay. I understand now. Ah! She's thin and also works at the church. The nun was absolutely able to commit the crimes. Um, hold on. It's not like she's afraid of heights. Hold on. She used the nails to climb. Ooh. The nun was lying next to the nails, so I don't think you can refute that. But some of that solution could pause me. The kid was learning after the locker room was created, right? The nun really had done that while the dominant arm was injured. The nun must they made a big point about her dominant arm, remember? She's thin and also works at the church. The nun was absolutely able to commit the crimes. This is the truth. There we go. I'm not gonna get the best ranking on this, am I? I mean, I lost about half my HP bar. In the Mansion Studies locked room, the culprit tossed the key behind the corpse with perfect aim. With her dominant hand injured, the nun couldn't have done that, which means she's not the culprit. I thought it was going to refute the, uh, I thought it was going to go into the, the other guy next. Not the churchgoer, the servants, or the nun. There's only one option left. Father, it's you. You are the nail man. Uh, hey, say something quick. Otherwise, they'll pin me as the culprit. Because you are. Um, well. Uh, you're useless. I am a priest. In service to God! No, in service to yourself. You critical jerk. I am not the nail man! Whoa! <laughs> what God would make you this ugly? All your proof is nothing but fantasy! You don't have a single piece of hard evidence! Hard evidence? But, Master, you do! It's easy! 
Based on the facts, the priest must be the culprit. The decisive evidence that proves it is... Uh... Hmm. I don't know. What do I do? What do I do? What? A detective must always prioritize solving a case. Listen, a detective isn't an arbiter of justice. Unraveling a case is top priority, even with questionable methods. What do you mean? In short, you must get them to confess. Use everything in your arsenal, even if it requires bluffing. Hmm. Use everything? A very ace attorney of you. Don't hesitate to use anything that might give you an advantage. Emotions must be discarded to reach a perfect solution through a perfect deduction. A, a bluff? In other words, I should just claim I have solid evidence. But what could I use as a bluff? Oh boy, ah, uh, what can we use as a bluff? Um. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Clock Tower Marty Kiss supports suspicious footprints. A report concerning the Clock Tower Marty case. Suspicious footprints face on the wall. Found made by dress shoes. I said we attack the footprints because this isn't about the priest, it's about the guy who got Do arrested. Your stupid fantasies. Everything you say. There's nothing but a fantasy. Do you have any proof? I'm a culprit. Did you find my fingerprints? I my fingerprints. Did you find my blood? Blood. Of course there's no evidence. Here? Because I'm not the culprit. Oh, those are tricky. You gotta hit them multiple times. So there, that second, that last one. I guess we don't have any evidence to raise the culprit, but just like Alara said, use whatever you have. Bluff if you have to. In a bluff, I don't know if I use that one thing, then maybe. Enough with your stupid fantasies. And we're gonna give it a shot. Oh, whoa! Everything you say. I'm surprised there's not a power that makes my sword stronger. Do you have any proof that I'm a culprit? Did you find my fingerprints? Did you find my blood? Of course there's no evidence. He's trying to dodge it. This is the truth. There we go. Got that one a lot faster at least. You left clear evidence at the clock tower's crime scene. There were footprints left under the window in the mud. When we inspected them, we found out they perfectly match your footprints. Oh! Impossible! I already burned those shoes. In oh! The ho, ho. <laughs> gotcha! You gave yourself away. I I swear, I only enacted justice. In the name of God. Now you enacted just the name of your own self Looks work. Like it worked. Good job, Yuma. Thanks. God I wore is rotten to the core. To save it, someone had to get their hands dirty. Those slain were the evil incarnate that harmed others. That's why the people asked the mailman to kill them. Evil must be punished and so I strangled them made them suffer all I did was slay evil wrong what you did was evil is that it someone hates somebody bad enough they give that name to the mailman. 
And this priest went around killing those people as the nail man. The urban legend offered targets for murder. A priest is supposed to be the voice of God. But he went around <laughs> killing people because someone wanted them dead. What is awesome! <laughs> no, it's not! It's terrible. It's insane to think that he'd kill people for a reason like that. That could be said about all murders. Insane people kill for insane reasons. And that's the truth. Anyway, you did it, Yuma. My expectations of you weren't wrong after all. Hey, thanks. Is it finally over? But the expectations are good, right? Huh, nothing's happening. But last time... Yeah, the soul of the true culprit who created this mystery labyrinth should appear. And since it didn't, it looks like this isn't over yet. Hmm, of course it's not over. But it's over for us today, my friends. My name is Flyzbo. This is your Sorbius Game Channel. This is our blind Let's Play Master Detective Archives Rain Code for the Nintendo Switch. Thank you for everything. I love you all so very much. And I hope you have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day. We'll be back with this very, very soon. And until then, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant, and you are loved, and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.